Even below average on Monday, that'll be the first time in more than a week we'll have a below average day. And of course, we're springing forward this weekend, so sunset gets an hour later. By Sunday, we're looking at sunset, which is going to be at 739, and of course, getting later and later as we head towards mid-June. Now, the next storm that we're watching is taking shape out to our west. You're going to see it out there in the Rockies. We've marked it as wet here on the forecast map, but there's a lot of snow. We're talking 36 to 50 inches of snow in parts of the Rockies. There are blizzard warnings out for Wyoming, and all of that is headed here. There's going to be a lot of moisture with it. However, temperatures are going to be warm enough that we'll see mostly rain, although there could be a little bit of a mix. The onset of this, this is Monday night, and then eventually this will turn into all liquid as we get into Tuesday. So I don't think we're going to see anything in the way of accumulation. However, this next system, as we get into Thursday, again, you're seeing a lot of green here, but by the time it gets into uh, southeast Michigan, we're looking at temperatures which will support mostly snow. So the question is, how much moisture is going to be here? Where is it going to go? Where the core of that system is going to go? And will the ground support any accumulation or not? So those are still some questions that are left unanswered, and we'll keep an eye on it as that system gets closer to us on Thursday. 23 is where we're going tonight, so the winds are going to continue to relax. We don't have to worry about a wind chill tomorrow morning, but temperatures are going to be plenty cold. And again, you saw in the four zone, there'll be some teens out there. 47 and plenty of sunshine. Saturday, definitely the brighter of the two weekend days. And there's your seven-day forecast as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Of course, Thursday will be what we're watching for that system. Wednesday for St. Patrick's Day. Jason Colthorpe almost put me out of a job earlier, but thank goodness I'm still here to tell you it's going to be 50 degrees for high temperatures on St. Patty's Day. So it will be dry as we head towards next week. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ben, thank you.